How's it going everybody? This is Scott, also known as Cha-Ching King, and I get the question all the time, how do Melody and I ship hats? And I have one to ship today, so what I thought I'd do is kind of walk you through. It's a very simple process that creates a really nice looking um, presentation for the buyer. They get it, they open it, and it looks like you cared about what you were doing. And it's fairly simple and relatively inexpensive, especially if you're shipping a lot of hats. Um, because then you can buy the boxes in bulk a little bit. So if that seemed interesting to you, stick around and I'll show you exactly what we do. What I'm going to do today, this is going to be a very quick video, but I get the question a lot about how we ship a hat. And what I like about the way that we do it is I have shipped out hundreds of hats and I have never had one ruined and I've never had anybody complain. I do charge for shipping, which, um, the, and it does come up occasionally where someone will be like, hey, why is your shipping so much? And I tell them that when my hat arrives, it's going to look nice. And so what I thought I would do is show you how I pack the hat, uh, exactly what it looks like going out, and the box that I ship it in, and kind of what the finished product looks like. So I, I'm way better <laughs> at uh, shipping the hat than I am at filming me shipping the hat. So I'll do the best that I can. So I'm going to turn the camera around. One, I sold this hat. It's new, um, but this works uh, regardless of the hat. I'm going to use this bag and I'm going to use this box. We use an eight by eight by four box and the bags that I use are right here and they are 12 by 18 and don't worry I'm gonna link everything um, where we buy it on Amazon um, I think uh, I've never actually got one but if anybody were to buy it I think that I get um, uh, a link fee I'm not even sure what they call it this shows you how much of it that I do but um, but these look really good it prevent uh, presents a, a nice professional appearance and so let me show you how I pack it up. All right, first things is I am going to see if I can set this up where the camera is on my workstation. All right, so what I do is I slide the hat in this way. I squeeze out some of the air. I don't worry about getting out all the air because that will actually act as a little bit of a buffer. I am going to take a little piece of tape. I'm gonna put it across that portion of it and stick that down in the back. And now I am going to grab a thank you sticker and put it right there on the bill. Let me set this back down. And now, if you are using the 8x8x4, the hat fits in just like that. Now, you'll notice that sometimes this looks like it's going to stick up a little bit far. But if you just pull the bill up a little bit, it slides right in there. I print that down. I print that down. I pop that down. Uh, piece of tape across it. And I have a very nice, professionally packed hat. So, like I said, nothing complicated about it. But I feel like it gives it a nice presentation. This box is a little bit thicker, which for some hats like on this one, and I'll just show you. Um, we use an Accutec scale. And when I, <laughs> my mess, desk is such a mess, there's almost no room. But you'll notice that it's 8.6 ounces. And uh, with a lot of the hats, it comes in just under eight. Obviously, if it's a little bit over eight, it goes up to the 12 ounce. I charge $4.99 for the hats, and I put in my uh, description that I ship every hat in a box to keep it from being crushed. And so it does look professional. They get there, like I say, I, uh, they get there looking nice, and it looks like a professional um, presentation. The only time I ever get a hat back is if somebody's head is too big. So <laughs> outside of that, uh, they do pretty good. 
that is it. Hopefully that very short tutorial was of use to you. Super easy to do, super easy to follow, and that's it. I, I will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>